is 3-20-2023 at 5-21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm Officer Brian Knight with the Los Santos Police Department. Across me is uh, Lang Buddha. Just state your full name for the record, your title, and your state ID for me. Uh, Lang Buddha, 1391. I'm going to read your Miranda rights uh, for just, you know, posterity's sake. At this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in a court of law. Right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the state if available. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you today? Yes, sir. Yesterday evening, uh, there was a series of tweets um, that were made um, in which uh, you expressed your opinion uh, on some things. Would you consider those tweets political? Uh, yes, I am the mayor, and my tweets were uh, definitely political, and I was trying to prove a point to uh, people in the city. And and what was what were the tweets in regard to? Could you provide some context? Obviously, we've got that all entered into evidence, but I'd like to, you know, make it easy to, you know, get it on recorded. So the initial tweet, um, I can't remember the other ones that I, that I may have made, but the initial tweet that uh, I was trying to prove a point with, was essentially uh, calling out the hospital for being privatized by uh, two known terrorists, Nicholas and Michael Simone, uh, and then their lackeys, the Diamond Dogs, who uh, work for them, Mm. being the people who facilitate and sell drugs out of this place. I called it a gang compound and said hospitals should not be privatized uh, by people. They should be ran uh, by the state uh, for people. uh, They're selling drugs out of the hospital? Yes, sir. Uh, what kind of drug? I believe it's called lean. Ho. Sir. Um, do you know, do you know, how, like, how do you know they're selling lean? Uh, well, a very well connected man, although I do not have hard evidence. Uh, the sources have told me and I've confirmed. Hmm. Okay. And when I try to get to the bottom of it, uh, every official I would call that would maybe represent the police force or the DOJ, etc., is actually on lean. I was losing my mind and nobody was taking me seriously, which is why I initially made that tweet. Wait, wait, wait. Say that last bit again. Who did you tell this to? Uh, I try to speak to certain government officials from the DOJ, from the PD, Mm -hmm. and these people actually were on the lean itself. So I felt... Everybody was compromised. I had nobody to turn to. Okay. Yeah. And uh, which is why I decided to go public with the information. So you want them to go from lean to clean is what you're saying there, Link? Yeah. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> right. From lean uh, to clean. Um, what was the, what was the, like, have you seen people on lane? How, what was their demeanor like? Uh, very, very spacey, a lot of slurring their words. Like they smoked a joint. That joint was from space. Grand never before seen. And it really just fucked them up. Okay. And um and then what transpired after these? Oh, did you uh did Nick Simone respond to your tweet? I believe he did. Oh, he did respond to my tweet numerous times. At that point, it became a uh, dick measuring contest. I believe he said something about how does a, a terrorist become the mayor of a city or some shit. Not sure where uh, what Facts he was basing that on, but then I responded uh, the same way uh, a terrorist somehow privatizes an entire uh, medical mm. organization without anybody blinking an eye or asking a single question as to how that was possible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up the, the tweets here real quick. All right, there we go. Um, I believe the initial tweet was, 
when did the hospital become a gang compound for the Diamond Dogs? And then in parentheses, who work for the Simones? And a place that sells drugs. Bring back hospitals that are run by the people for the people. Correct. Does Nick own that hospital? Well, you mean by pure definition of owning? You can argue no, but if you want to talk actual logic, he is on the board of medical, has every single mm. say in what happens in that hospital. He owns the entirety of the building, and everybody that works under him, uh, if they oppose him, he will just get rid of them. Um, is there, has he submitted a, do, do you know of any business um, uh, proposals in regards to the building? Uh, going Welcome to my rabbit hole, Brian. This was all done with absolute zero paperwork as far as I'm concerned. And I have looked very, very hard. It and made absolutely you access to all these, right? Correct. And it made absolutely no sense why whatever, I think the initial hospital burnt down or whatever, got blown up, whatever the fuck happened to it. It never made any sense to me why this was never a project that was funded by the state and a project that was built by the state. Naturally, if, if our hospital collapses, the, sh the state should be responsible into building a new one and making it function again. But somehow this man and his brother came out of nowhere built the hospital, and said, you guys work for us now, essentially. Have you signed anything in legislation or seen any legislation that uh, that would allow medical services to operate under a privatized building business? You asked. There's absolutely no legislation that allows that. One could really surmise that this tweet very much was political in nature, given that it's hit many of those uh, particular, well, politic points, let's call it. Well, it was political. It, was, it got so political to the point that, uh, I mean, I can get more to details about uh, my assassination attempt and whatnot, but if we fast forward through all of that, mm -hmm. um, Nicholas Simone actually... I can't have this on the record, I don't think. Well, let me uh, let me ask you some more police questions, right and fuck. this kind of will hit all the uh, the clarity that I need. Um, so it, that you mentioned that he tweeted back at you. Would it be the tweet where he added you and said, when did the mayor's office become an office for known terrorists? Correct. He also ha tweeted at some point. Have you point, been charged with terrorism? I have not, sir. Have the Simones been have we as the police department attempted to uh press charges on terrorism on the simone as far as i'm concerned uh michael simone is uh was the only one to have been caught uh in terms of being a terrorist and uh he's been on the mm. run since mm. uh and i believe the officers have not apprehended him yet uh based on the information that i know nothing i can prove in court um nicholas simone uh, assists michael simone and essentially all the terroristic acts that uh you know, they do. Um, the Simone investigation, for the record, uh, was submitted and publicly available on the docket, and the charges do include uh, terrorism. I'd also like to mention, um, this all started um, a few months back when I initially called Nicholas Simone a terrorist on Twitter. Um, and then he responded by uh, placing a bomb in my car and attempting to kill me. What? Yes. Where was uh, where was your vehicle at the time? My vehicle was in Cerberus uh, Center Underground parking lot. Uh, you know, a very known spot for my car to be. I'm always upstairs, wrapped up in meetings for hours. Then uh, the, there was actually an anonymous tweet of a recording of my vehicle actually blowing up. Really? Did you take a photograph of that by any chance? We we may have that somewhere. Um, I can definitely probably get you even the video. Oh, that would be fantastic. Was there anything that would? Uh, wait. Did he? Did did? How did you know it was Michael? 
Well, it was it was Michael or it was Nick or it was both because uh, there was literally graffiti on the wall next to my car that said Michael was here. Ah, I see. Yep. Uh Gotcha. Okay. And uh, at the time, were you considering running for a political position? Uh, yes. I believe I was the mayor at the time or I was campaigning. It was either or. I can't really remember. Oh, so there may have been like an active election taking no, no, place. I, I actually, no, I was the mayor. I remember I sent a twat from, uh, from the oh. courthouse in my office, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was the mayor at the time, 100%. Jesus. All right. Um, so let me pull this back up. All right. And guys, then he's not asking uh, you guys the question. I'm seeing a tweet uh, in which uh, Cy Carter tweeted Diamond Dog lo- like Heart, come to the hospital and get clapped. Uh, I do remember seeing that twat. I also remember seeing the twat of uh, Cy Carter saying, Mayor B called me when I called him. Mm. And this is after he had sent out asking you to come to the hospital um, to get clapped. And this is after you had sent out the tweet, when did the hospital become a gang compound for the Diamond Dogs, in parentheses, who work for the Simones? I sent out that twat, and then I think he twatted Mayor B, call me, and then I called him, and he wanted me to meet him at the hospital. Okay. Um, And uh, during these events, so Nick is tweeting at you and Cy is tweeting at you. I also see a retweet here by Elizabeth Elizabeth Byrne. Um, Okay. And then, um, so uh, how did you come face to face with with, uh, Cy Carter? Okay. So this is how it all went down. Uh, That tweet was sent. The initial one that I sent, obviously, uh, ruffled some feathers. Uh, Cy Carter twatted out, Mayor B called me. Uh, called me. I called him and he said, uh, come meet me at the gang compound. And then I said, what gang compound? He said, the hospital. I said, okay. Oh. I have. So he referenced it as the gang compound. Correct. I have a uh, armored vehicle. So it's a deity. It's armored. Mm-hmm. Uh could protect me very well so you know i wasn't scared to go down there but on the way down there i called bones an officer i work with i always has my back looks out for me and i let him know listen i think i might be uh this guy might attempt to assassinate me you know i need police in the area in case shit goes down uh so i drive down there i pull up in the car Cy carter elizabeth Byrne, and another female i'm not sure what her name was I uh, tried to egg, uh, you know, egg me on to get out of the car. I told him, listen, if you want to speak to me, you can speak to me, you know, right there on the side of the car. I'm not getting out this car. Mm. Uh, and then at that point, he began to explain how I need to stop shit talking the Simones and the hospital. Uh, it's really pissing him off. He's going to give me one opportunity uh, to uh, stop doing that. And then I asked, why do you work for the Simones? Uh, and then he made a, 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 some sort of stupid remark. And then I called uh, the Diamond Dogs, uh, the puppies for the uh, Simones, and they got him on a leash. At that point, uh, he got very angry. And he said, uh, this is for the Simones. Fuck your mayorship. And pulled out his gun. And they started shooting at me. He then, said, this is for the Simones? Yeah. And then he followed with, uh, fuck your mayorship. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then very quickly, I found out that the car that I believed was bulletproof wasn't actually all that bulletproof. Mm. Is that a rather unique vehicle? Uh, it's a very unique ve- vehicle. I think it's the only one in the city. I see. So it would be, has it ever been in the hands of Cy Carter? Um, no, the vehicle, I don't think so, no. My God, Sosa. You tend to, okay. So it would be knowledge of it being bulletproof. I mean, if you didn't know it was bulletproof, would anyone else think it was bulletproof? Uh, no. Okay. It wasn't very open information. Uh, who was present 
when you and Cy uh, had this conversation at the car? It was me, Cy Burnham. Carter, uh, Elizabeth Byrne, another female, a long blonde hair. She wore like a uh, like a black bandana over mm. part of her face. Uh, not sure we what her get name her was. In custody. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, Eve was also in the passenger seat of the car. She's also a deputy mayor, and she was also shot at. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, was uh, the individual known as Big Pussy there? Uh, I believe not. Was Nick Simone present? Nick Simone, I believe, was present in the distance. I might be recalling that incorrectly, but I believe when I was actually being brought into the hospital by the officers, uh, he exclaimed, uh, you know, make sure to take very good care of him. Was it in a serious or sarcastic tone? It almost felt like it was a th in a threatening tone. I was actually about to tell the officers to just let me go and I'll be handled by my own people. But I figured, uh, you know, fuck it. I don't want to make the situation bigger than it was. Just get me treated to make sure I don't get killed. So I kept my mouth shut. I'm going to slide this photo across the desk. Do you recognize any of the individuals in this photo? Just one second. I was like lying. I mean, he's like fabricating a little bit of lying into it, but essentially the entire story is true. Like fabricating. So in that photo, there is a individual uh, half bald with glasses on. Uh, that is, uh, by the way, you on the ground right there with the doctor holding you. Do you recognize <laughs> the individual with the glasses? Uh, I, I think that's big pussy. I, I'm not sure. I've never seen mm. him outside of his, uh, wetsuit. And, and just to confirm, is that you on the ground? That is me on the ground. That is a doctor that carried me to the hospital. And that is Nicholas Simone uh, looking at my body. Is Nicholas Simone a doctor? He is not a doctor. He is uh, a gang member, uh, and he reps that very harshly and even wears his, that chain uh, every opportunity he gets. I tell people that he is, you know, associated with the gang, and, he, and he's also a terrorist and helps and assists his brother in all the terrorist acts against this city. The doctor that you see there um, in, the, in the gray, what is that around his shoulders looks like a gun belt with which i first thought was weird but then i thought it was actually an officer bringing me into the hospital is that not no, an officer a, that's a that's a doctor <laughs> uh oh okay okay <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was an officer who was, like, undercover because I did notify the police that I might be getting assassinated, so maybe they just came in undercover. I, I wasn't aware that was a doctor. Do you believe that Cy Carter and Nick Simone are in uh, cahoots? Uh, and I, I, I don't only believe. I know they are in cahoots. Uh, I know Cy Carter has his hand in this clean operation. I'm not sure exactly which part. I know Cy Carter and his entire... Uh, Diamond Puppies uh, assisted in faking the death of Michael Simone. I know they have an extensive oh. uh, history together, and I know that due to the Diamond Dogs creation was of a falling out with the Lost when Michael Death Simone was faked. A lot of people obviously thought it was real at the time, causing a massive fallout within the Lost, uh, you know, motorcycle club, uh, leading to the creation of the Diamond Dogs. Jesus. Yes. I will testify all this gladly in court, by the way. Uh, just a, that, that's a lot of information there. Uh, first and foremost, you're saying Michael Simone is alive? Uh, Michael Simone is alive. Um, 
Have people attempted to cover this up? I believe a lot of individuals had a hand in attempting to cover this up. Uh, I don't want to get dangerous with my words here, but I, I do believe a few officers were involved uh, in the cover-up. I do believe a few doctors were involved in the cover-up. And, and a lot of individuals that we'll never even find out were probably involved. So you're telling me that this was not one massive tinfoil-hatted conspiracy theory? No, it was all correct. It was all true. Wow. Uh, okay, I, I'm probably going to go back to some of those questions down the line, but uh, for now, yep. I want to mostly focus on on this uh, act of terrorism. Um, is there... A, do you have any, like, concrete... How do I put this? So there's a claim that Nick Simone and and the Diamond Dogs barely know each other. Are you aware of anything that would really underline their their involvement beyond what they claim to be a simple friendship? Uh, I mean, like I said, uh, the Diamond Dogs were responsible in helping uh, fake Michael Simone's death, uh, keep it a secret. They probably helped them, assisted them with hiding within the city, with not being caught. I mean, they carry out any sort of the command that the, the Simones require, uh, for example, probably assassinating me, I would imagine it was a, re a request uh, done by Nicholas Simone, and the Diamond Dogs carry out everything they do. That's why they name themselves the Diamond Dogs. They're a bunch of puppies who need to take the, you know, take uh, orders from uh, th their master. All right, fantastic. And um, do you believe the Diamond Dogs may be harboring Michael Simone to this day? Do I believe they're currently harboring him? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Do I believe they've harbored him in the past and helped him with uh, hiding out on multiple locations? Probably. Do I know if he's currently with them hiding? I, I can't say for sure because this information, uh, the Diamond Dogs being close with the Simones, has come to light uh, for a few weeks now. A lot of people have been made aware, so they could have been spooked and moved them somewhere else. I'm not Fantastic. Uh, if you come across uh, any sort of like physical evidence uh any any like hard facts because look i i uh you know i take what you're saying uh with with a lot of seriousness but as you understand when it comes to court testimony is one thing but you know photographs all these kind of things go go a long way text messages any anything really concrete um as uh there is a tendency for people to conveniently forget their relationships um when it comes to you know, comes to court. I mean, what evidence do you need? I'll get you whatever you want. I would keep this uh, conversation uh, not to the public. Uh, I don't know who's behind that glass there because they already might be warning the, the people you're probably trying to take down. Oh, I, I only work with the most trustable individuals. Uh, I hope so. If you got Bundy and uh, maybe Jenny behind that glass, with all due respect, uh, this conversation got to be uh, kept between us. For... Ne neither are present. Perfect. Are you aware of any conversations that may have been happening between Michael Simone and officer? Um, I'm not aware of exact conversations. I just thought the entire situation was uh, strange. Um, fuck the goddamn votes. I don't give a fuck if I'm not the mayor anymore. Uh, I thought it was really strange that uh, Bundy carries in uh, a sniper rifle given to him by the Simone brothers, and he claims that he carries this around in an attempt to assassinate the Simone brothers because he wants to fight fire with fire. That point makes absolutely no sense to me. And before the MDW was updated, uh, Michael Simone was confirmed dead by Jeffrey Bundy and Jenny Hall. Uh, I don't know how they confirm that, and then this man is alive. It makes no sense to me. Um, Bundy's wife uh, works for the hospital. There could have been some... Uh, you know, malpractice there that we are unaware of. Um, and yeah, this, this entire situation, uh, it, people can't go this long without uh, any sort of internal protection. Uh, me being who I am now, uh, before this, I would fart in the wrong direction and I would have 30 subpoenas, 42 raid warrants, and God's wrath on my ass. Uh, the Simone brothers have done a lot without anybody ever questioning it or blinking an eye. And, that is and why I, I can definitely confirm that. I mean, I think I wrote 
like probably 90% of those war. Yeah. So I started to, I will be honest, it, uh, this started out of uh, sheer pettiness as to how these two can operate in such silence. I, you know, with some honesty too, I wanted to learn how I can do that. But then I just realized that nobody ever uh, had the, I, I don't know if whether it was balls or, or merit or even just cared to, uh, to question any of this. And so I, I, I started doing that. And then uh, just, like I said, I'm a very well-connected man. There's, there's not a lot of things I can prove with hard uh, evidence, uh, but I, I know it is true. I understand the feeling. Look, uh, there's a, there's yeah. a banner uh, that's across from the courthouse. You familiar with the one I'm referring to? It's on a different hospital. Uh, the stop state corruption, uh, corruption. Yes. Uh, pretty once again, the Simones, uh, threw that up. I know what for, I would rather not stay on the record and I would rather not play that card until I have everything in place to actually prove it. Understandable. Yeah. When did it show up? Um, what do I, how do I play this? Did it show up during your tenure? You know what? Fuck it. It showed up the same time a hole uh, was beginning to be dug uh, towards the underground under the uh, city hall. A, a hole underground of the city hall? Yeah, a hole that people claim is to build an underground parking garage, but I know for a fact, and I was told by the man face-to-face -face when I met him at Mays Bank Arena, at uh, this hole uh, is going to be used to blow up City Hall. Okay, give me just one second. I'm going to double check who's behind the glass. Should be good, but sorry about that. We got a... No problem. Like double, triple fisting today. All good. All right, so you're telling me that Michael Simone told you face-to-face -face that he is digging a hole... Digging a hole underground, uh, creating an underground parking lot underneath City Hall with the intent to blow up City Hall. He uh, told me face to face uh, to let me know that w he wasn't very fond of the previous mayor. Mm. and uh, Mayor Mickey. Correct. And uh, that's why he did that. And then to pry for some more information, I asked him if I could assist him with it. Uh, he denied. So then I got, uh, you know, very curious. I'll be honest. When I started my mayorship, I didn't think it was going to last very long. I'm a very impulsive and uh, aggressive man, and I do a lot of dumb things. But as I started on turning a lot of stones, I started to take my job more seriously, and I ended up being down a rabbit hole uh, with the contracting company that is a, a supposedly ran by the state, uh, which approved of this dig site. I'm not sure whether or not they know they if, if they're involved. Uh, it does not make sense to me, but uh, I was just very shocked as to why, again, another project that should be probably, you know, at least have oversight with the state. I mean, you're digging a hole under City Hall, uh, having no oversight, and it's just kind of happening, and everybody's watching, but nobody's saying anything. Did you questions. approve for the digging? I did not. Did you improve for any kind of parking structure? I did not. Did you approve for a government hospital to have a banner placed on? I did not. Huh. And and there is there any and there's no documentation for any of this. I believe there is a bit of documentation regarding the tunnel. There is no documentation regarding the hospital. I see. I see. Okay. Um, is there any... Uh, this is a lot to take in. I'm probably going to be processing this. Uh, and uh, I'll probably need to ask you some more questions down the line. Um, but I think I've got all that I'm looking for. Is there, any, is there anything else that you think may be relevant to the assassination attempt uh, today? Um, uh, like I said, uh, I started, you know, poking uh, a hornet's nest only to find out that it was filled with flies.
and uh, they're very pissed and they're trying to retaliate in any way they can, not realizing uh, I know a lot more than they think I know. I believe it. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, there, uh, Mayor Lang. Uh, we're going to be ending uh, this recording at 5.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank no you. Problem. Brian, you got my number. Call me anytime. I'll testify all this in court. I have no issue. All right. You stay safe out there. Do, Brian. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if they've got really... Um, I don't know if they've got too many... Uh, you know, too many people left. Well, uh, be careful with uh, Norman Adams, by the way. He works with them in every capacity. Huh? Yeah. Well, so does that man that's uh, that I'm whose bar license I'm taking right now. Hello, uh, you Mr. should look Mayor. into uh, maybe taking uh, Norman Adams' bar license too for trying to fabricate some bullshit uh, statement to uh, make sure uh, Cy Carter didn't get caught. Took my Wait, do you know, do you have any evidence of this? Uh, uh what's his name, Nakoda? Do you have a cop like named Nakoda or some shit? Yeah, yeah, he's one of my ex DPD guys. Talk to we'll him, talk. he's got a statement from Norman Adams, and then uh, I can send you a cease and desist I received last night uh, presented to me by Nicholas Simone and Norman Adams. Is Wait, the whole thing. no shot. Yeah. Uh, oh, Lord. Okay, all right, time to cook. You have a good day. You too, Brian. Yeah, but now we're gonna now that like Lang is obviously going on the side of like snitching and exposing a lot, we also have to like play it in a way where that uh that obviously comes like to an end. Because the worst thing to deal with is like an eternal snitch. And uh uh, obviously, the, the Simones will eventually find out if they retaliate, like, and they do some shit to Lang. Like, there's gonna come to a point where either Lang, obviously, just backs away and stops snitching, or or the Simones get taken. Because we don't want to. We got to be fair to you know everybody involved in the RP. Like, we don't want to just like be absolutely rail in the ass, but just keep snitching. Like, that's like the worst kind of, in my opinion. Uh, the worst kind of RP on the planet. So we're going to have to just be very careful how we play that. 